Hi, welcome to BlueFX.net and thank you for buying this last template called a YouTube channel promotion. My name is Marcelo Cabrera and I'm here to show you how to customize this template in the most fast, easy and efficient way. So let's move on. In the delivery folder that you receive, you're going to find these subfolders. Inside this, you have four projects. Each one of them corresponds a different color setup. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use this one. So open it by double click. Okay, here we are. Let me show you first what you're going to find in the project manager. This is the CU0 main composition which we are seeing in the timeline. The uChange folder contains these other three subfolders. The section folder, the text folder, and the video folder. Besides this, you will find this other composition that will explain to you how to use them just a little bit forward. The other counts folder contains all the composition used to build this project and they are not customizable. The other resolution folder contains the same CU0 main composition, but in all these different resolutions. Now, I will show you the timeline. As you see, you have this reference layer, which has marks to help you to find easily all the customizable composition in the timeline. So this way you can locate the intro text, the title 01, the showcase 01 composition, and so on and so forth. In this project, you have three sections, the showcase section, the latest video section and the recommended section, all separated by this yellow layer, which are titles compositions. Besides this, you have an ending composition and an interactive composition used to promote other videos of your YouTube channel. You will find all the explanation about how to add interactive buttons using the YouTube editing tools at the end of this tutorial. If you don't want to add this composition, just delete or hide it using this eye icon right here. Ok, now let's make some changes. I will move the indicator over this first mark to change all the intro text. Now to change this text, open from the 00U change folder, the 0 text subfolder and the 0 intro subfolder. Now you can open each one of them to retype a new text including this text 05 and 06 of the next mark. Let me show you. Ok, done. The first section is the showcase, so we need to identify the section using this title in this mark. To change the text of this title, open from the same zero text folder the zero title subfolder. Select text title 01 and open it by double click please. Now retype a new text here. Now let's move the indicator over this showcase 01 mark. In this composition, we're going to make some changes that will affect all the section composition like the URL logo composition and the YouTube address composition. So from the 00 change folder, open the section subfolder and the showcase 01 composition. Once you are inside, you will find this text layer, by which you can modify the video title the video description and the visit number. Let's modify this text first. Okay, done. Now, to add your logo here, open from the CUCU change folder the Your Logo composition. And place here your own logo file. I have the BlueFX logo right here. 
and I will drag it to the timeline. And I will make some little adjustments. Okay, done. Let's see how this looks in the Showcase 01 composition. Now let's modify the YouTube address composition. So, open from the zero text folder the YouTube address composition and change this text inside. Done. Now it's time to add our first video to the Showcase 01 composition. To do that, you have to replace this yellow layer. I will open first my footage folder. And I will select this video file. From the showcase composition, I will select the yellow layer. And holding the Alt key of your keyboard, I will drag the video file over this layer and it's gonna be replaced automatically. Now I will move this layer backward or forward just to make some little addition work. Done. Let's go back to the main composition. Now the process to modify the rest of all the section composition is quite the same. Just move the indicator over the mark related with that composition, open it from the section folder, and change it. Now let's move the indicator over this ending mark. As you see you have an animation and a text composition. To modify this text, open from the zero text subfolder the subscribe now composition and change the text inside. Now let's move the indicator over this interactive mark. If you want to add this interactive composition to use as a promotional section in your own YouTube channel, you will need to add some videos here and some text. Let me show you. First, open from the series section folder the interactive composition. Once you're inside, you want to find these two text layers, which are these two titles here. These titles are the video titles of the video that you're going to place into these video placeholders. So first, let's add the video inside these two compositions. To do that, open from the YouChange folder, the Zero Video folder. You're gonna see these two compositions, one for the right and this one for the left. Open first the interactive video right. Now, add your video to this timeline. Let me show you. I'm gonna make some little adjustments. Done. Now make the same with the interactive video left. Now let's change the titles. The last feature to talk about is the color control. So open from the U Change folder the color control composition. As you see, you have all the sections as reference in the scene. With these three yellow layers, you can modify the plastic color one, the plastic color two, and the background color. Let me show you. Okay, done. Now let's see how to add the interactive buttons using the editing tools of your own YouTube channel. Let's suppose that you have published the final video in your own YouTube channel, like I made in my own channel. To add an interactive annotation to this video, may click over this annotation button right here. 
This timeline now will help you to find the right moment to add the interactive annotation, so move the indicator over the ending and locate the two video screens. Now may click over this button to add your annotation and select Spotlight. You will see two boxes here. One is for the area to make click inside and the other is for the text that will appear when you make rollover over the area. Adjust the size to match the area with your video screen. And move the text box below the area. Now, use these parameters to make the final adjustments. This is the text input to show text or comments when you make rollover. Let's add some text here. With this, you can change the text size, the color, and the color of the area frame. With the start and end time, you can easily adjust the duration of this annotation. And in the link input box, place the link of the video that you want to show and choose video here. Besides this, you can also check this box if you want to show the promoted video in a new window. To add another annotation, make the same process by choosing another spotlight in the Add Annotation button. Let me show you. Okay, done. Now, publish the video using this button right here. This is all that you need to know to customize this project and publish it by using interactive annotation in your own YouTube channel. Ruithex.net My name is Marcelo Cabral and I hope to see you again in the next tutorial. Bye.